Sheldon, obviously we talked a little bit yesterday about the potential of your you know, two defensemen potentially playing. Do you have an update? I know they're both out there for that optional and what you're kind of seeing. Yeah, they'll both be in tonight. And how does that really change the dynamic for your team right now? Well, I mean, it's it's a good thing, obviously. I mean, they're two very, uh, very good um, defensemen. Obviously, Pesci is well established, and we've been excited to have him a part of our group. But, uh, you know, in more official capacity here now in uniform, which is great. And, and obviously, Luke's an exciting young player. A tremendous season last year as a first year guy and I'm excited to get to know him better uh, you know with him in uniform too. What does a response game for your team look like tonight? Well, I think it, it's just a complete game you know it, it's uh, you know, a game that we're consistent throughout and uh, you know that we don't have lulls and lapses uh, but we just got to be better both with and without the puck I mean a lot of the, a lot of issues creep up without the puck when you're not good with it. And that was a lot of our issues the other night is we just couldn't make plays and get through their pressure. So we're defending way too much. So that's a big part of it. We've got we to gotta be really good and complete in, in uh, both sides of the puck. Is the puck support where you want it to be right now, particularly like on breakouts and, and things like that? The support's there. We're just not making the plays. When you talked about yesterday, they were facets of the game that had to improve. Is that the number one area, though, what you just discussed? Like that's where you had to be better getting passes to takes. Yeah, I mean it's it's a big that's a big part of it. You know, we got to we got to get out of our zone a lot cleaner. Uh, if we do a lot, yeah, you know, and we got a lot of clips when 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 we do get out clean. You I mean, you look at you look at the goal we scored to start the second period as an example. Um, you know, we get out we get out clean, get on the attack and you know, make a play to the middle of the ice and it's in. Um, and we've got lots of examples of that. But it's, it not only helps your, your rush game, but it also helps your forecheck and all these things that really are important to us and haven't been very good in the last couple of games. Just big picture, where are you in the process? Just adjustment, right? Them learning what you want them to do, you still learning your personnel. Yeah, I think we're, you know, we're, we're still in that. Um, I feel like I'm, you know, getting a pretty good sense of who everyone is and where they're at. But I think... Um, there's areas of our game, in particular with the puck here now. As I, I do think defensively, we've we're in a, we've got a pretty good foundation there uh, of what we need to do. And as I said, some things cr uh, creep in the other night, but to me, it's more a result of poor puck play, which is uh, sort of overwhelming us with how much we have to defend. And you're defending tired, and when you're defending tired, it doesn't matter what your structure is. Uh, it's the same as when you're not competing. It's it's it's, it's uh, things things fall apart. So. Uh, but it's a play with the puck that can just get our game going a lot more so we can be on the attack a lot more and uh, play on the other team's half of the ice. As a coach, when it comes to young defensemen, what do you need to see before guys can, when you can know guys can start learning from mistakes, right? Because everyone, every player is going to make mistakes and everything like that. As a coach, is, it, is there something you need to see when cause sometimes young guys will come in and they get a chance and, and then when they, when they get that first mistake. Like, what do you need to see as a coach when you start trusting guys? Hey, you're going to figure it out on the next shift or things like that. Well, I mean, yeah, mistakes happen. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's, a, well, we play a game of mistakes, yeah. right? I mean, there's so much happening out on the ice and it happens so fast that there's, there's, veteran players that you have that make mistakes but it's it's uh yeah, how, how do they learn uh from it um you know can they grow from it and then also how do they accept the teaching that's a big part of it too you know um are they willing to learn willing to listen do they ask questions are they committed to to uh you know seeking help if they're not getting it uh in a timely fashion or if they have questions they ask them those are all the things that sort of develop and then you get to work at it in practice setting and you get the next opportunity that you you show that you're you're better the next time out that's really what you're looking for do you kind of grow that patience as a coach i know you, as someone you've worked with guys at various levels before you got to the nhl and like is it is it something where as a coach you kind of learn that skill of figuring out the personalities and how, how they handle things yeah, I think that's that's part of the art of coaching is knowing each individual and how they can manage those situations. But again, uh, you know, the, when we talk about a veteran player, the difference between a veteran player and a lot of young players that are trying to find their way is the veterans make the mistake. They uh, they already know it when they come back to the bench or, 
you know, how they manage the situation to improve the next time out is usually in a far mature, far more mature manner, just because of their experience. So that's you know really what you're looking for in your managing as a coach is is uh, what's the maturity level of the player, what's the intellectual capacity of the player. So that's a big part of it too. You know, we talk a lot about hockey IQ and stuff like that. You know, you're managing that too, both in terms of what their ability is to process things. It's a fast game where things, a lot of things happen very quickly, and you need to be able to process it. And, and in some ways, you, you know, you put together a structure defensively, but there's a lot of reads out there that you have to trust that the players, uh, you know, can can make the appropriate ones. So you're managing that, and that's usually what takes the time for the young guys. And last one, someone who does hasn't seen you guys for, for you guys. As a new coach come in, when you guys had the trip like you did to start the year, was that a good way to get to know all the, the people, the humans in there on that team? Yeah, it was helpful. It, it was helpful. That was one of the things I was excited about. I mean, I, you know, I'll be honest, when I come in and take the job, and, and the, you know, one of the first things I see is a trip overseas and a shortened training camp and a shortened preseason, you're not overly excited about that. But uh, one of the positive things is, is the time together. For sure, uh, both from a coaching side of it and from the players themselves, as we had a lot of new guys. So, uh, it just so happened we went out there and played well, and it was a good experience all the way around. But I think that certainly helped, and and you can tap into things like that when you're going through a little bit of a uh, a slip here, which, which we have over the last little bit. Uh, must feel good to be sitting here getting ready to play. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a long time coming, and uh, you know, really excited for tonight and get back into the, the rhythm things. How how has it sort of been? You know, obviously the team went away at the beginning, and just what was that sort of recovery process like? And maybe nice to have someone like Pesh with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, obviously it sucks. You want to be with the team, and you want to try to do anything you can to help the team win. And um, but you know, it's part of sports, and it's part of the profession we're in. And um, obviously, it was nice to have Pesh with me a little bit, a little partner bonding. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back, and I think he's really excited to be back too. What do you look forward to in terms of you know pairing up with him and playing with him there? Yeah, I mean, he's really hard to play against. He's got a really good stick. Um, can skate. He makes really good first pass out of the zone. And, um, you know, just watching him in Carolina, he's really hard to play against. And, um, you know, he's definitely going to help our team out a lot. Was there a point for you in your recovery process where you felt like this could have been, like, the target day for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, I was targeting for... For a while, <laughs> yeah. I mean, as soon as possible. I think that was the date. I think kind of, you know, last week I, I was like, all right, I'm I'm kind of ready to play here. And, um, you know, kind of just turning into the week. Got a couple practices with the team. And, um, you know, the staff's done a great job with me. The training staff, uh, the skills coaches, the strength guys. Um, you know, everyone's done a great job handling my situation and, and getting me back at a, at a great time. Anything you have to guard against for watching your first game back? Especially unlike the start of the season, you're starting a little bit behind. Yeah. You know, guys have played six or seven games. Yeah, I think for me, just you know, playing with it myself, especially the first game, first couple of games, um, get my legs under me, and you know, making smart plays and just defending hard, uh, and then just letting the play come to me. You know, when I get an opportunity, obviously try to capitalize on it and, and do my thing. But um, you know, just defending really hard, and, and that's kind of my job. So. That's why they call you a defenseman. Yeah. Um, what have you observed about the team through the first nine games of the season? Yeah, I think um, guys are really working hard. They're tracking back, um, playing really fast and, and physical. And, um, you know, that's definitely been a couple of key points, I think, through the first nine. And, um, you know, I think it's a really good team. we got great goalies. And, um, you know, we just got to keep it going. But there have been some issues, and you know, Shelton's been clear about them the last few in particular. So what's the tighten up uh, that needs to take place? I think just, like, not giving up as many two-on-ones and breakaways. Um, you know, we have such good goalies, and obviously we have the guys in the room that can, can score a lot. You know, like they scored 10 goals in the last two games. So, um, you know, I think just tightening up a little bit defensively and, and uh, letting our goalies uh, kind of do their thing. A long time coming for you. I bet it seems like a long time ago that you signed that contract and we're excited. How are you feeling right now? Good. Um, it's been a, uh, a long process to get back here, um, longer than I expected, to be honest. But um, just happy I'm back, and it's, uh, it's nice to just be around the fellas. And what do you think? Like, do you, do you have, like, a certain type of emotion? Just, you know, it's a new team. It's, like, a whole new experience yep. and one that you've waited so long to. Yeah, just excitement. Um, haven't felt this for, you know, haven't felt these nerves in a while for, 
Uh, feels like it's my first game, but just no, it's just exciting, you know, new start for myself and um, new team and um, just really to uh, I'm ready to go to battle with the boys. You know, obviously a unique situation where you'll likely be paired up with Luke and you guys have been together for yeah. quite some time. In a way, that has to be some sort of beneficial, you know, behavior behind that. For sure. Um, gotten really close with this guy. So uh, <laughs> learned a lot about him over the past month or so. Um, just excited to play with him, just seeing what he does, you know, in the rehab skates. And I'm mm -hmm. um, so talented, so I'm just going to try to make his life easy. And then how, how has it been watching from a distance, obviously? You want to be in there. You want to be able to help out. And Sheldon has really talked specifically about the things that haven't been up to par, let's say, especially in that defensive game over the last couple. So, like, what are you seeing from your perspective, having watched that you hope can you guys can, like, move along? Yeah, I mean, just any time you have a new coach, new system, um, new faces, it's, you know, this is going to be learning curves. Um, you know, I see the boys working hard, and that's number one. you got to work to be successful in this league. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that this team's talented enough to, to gel everything together and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I could just come in and, and keep it simple and, and help the boys out anywhere I can. And you said that you know, you hoped that it would have been earlier that you yeah. would be able. But was there a certain point leading up to today that you felt like, okay, like this is a date I can target. I'm ready to go, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the past few weeks, you know, a week or so, we've kind of had this target Thursday or Friday. Um, yeah. Just kind of progressively feeling better and better. So um, just just happy to be back. Thanks, Brett. Yep. Yeah, some of the just the patience of like, okay, I could, I could go, but it's a long season. You want to make sure when you come back that you're all exactly. there. Right? You want to go back closest to 100 percent because you don't want any setbacks. So um, it's a good time.